Hi, Mike Griffin here with Life in the Slow Lane. You know, a lot of people ask us about our Cricut golf cart. It seems a lot of people want to have golf carts, but the big ones are just too big. They won't fit in the back of a pickup truck, and you have to get special carriers for a lot of them. But this Cricut is really small, and you can collapse it to fit in the back of a standard pickup truck, or even put it in the back of your SUV, or the back of your Jeep, or in a lot of places you just can't fit a standard golf cart. Now, how big is it? Well, if you collapse it, and you, have to, you can only collapse it if the roof is not part of it, that whole roof frame you see back there. When you do collapse it, it's 58 inches long, 32 inches wide, and it's about 28 inches high. Now, it'll hold 600 pounds, which is two adults and two kids, but we've taken, two, we've taken four adults on it pretty comfortably as long as we've been on level terrain and we've gone pretty slow. One time we were on some inclines and we had four adults on it and I burned the motor out, but they sent me a new one and I was able to replace it. It has 13 inch tires and it has a 36 volt battery which charges pretty easy. Uh, I just plug it in and it charges overnight. For us, the amount we use it, a charge will last a week because you're not driving it all the time. I think it's typically around, um, uh, I want to say 30 hours or something, but it's plenty. It's good enough. And it's easy and it's quiet. It goes about 10 to 13 miles an hour and you can have all, order all kinds of accessories with it. Now the accessories I got were the top, which includes the vinyl top, the windshield, and uh, I also got a mirror for it. Uh, that was a $50 option. And there's a lot of other things you can get like ramps and I wanted ramps to be able to put it on the back of my put it up in the back of my pickup truck. I believe the ramps were just over $200 if memory serves me. I was able to get mine at the Tampa RV show which is a great place to get them. They sell about 10 a day there and they bring them in every day so you can get them right on the spot and uh, another advantage is once you get one at the Tampa RV show you can drive it around the Tampa RV show and that's really handy for that, a show that you know over 26 acres. This particular Cricut you can, is red, but you can get it in a variety of colors. Red and yellow are popular, but um, it, it's really easy to drive, and we're all the time having people ask us questions about it. I'm going to show you some of the details, and you, we'll take a look at uh, things like the battery and, and different parts of it that can collapse and, and how it folds up and whatnot. The model you see here is the SX3. You can buy this in two basic configurations without the top or with it. If you buy the top, you probably want to get all the other accessories like the windshield and the mirror and of course the vinyl top itself which comes on and off pretty easy. If you have the top on, you can't collapse the whole Cricut and if you can't collapse it, you can't get the shorter length that you might need to fit it in some tight spaces. I opted to go ahead and leave the top on. I leave the top on because then I don't have to collapse it every time I do anything and it fits in the back of my pickup truck. The controls on the Cricut are very simple. On the left you have a charger port where you can plug in a cigarette lighter charger. Next to it you have the actual charging indicator. Now this indicator works great except when it's down to about the midpoint here you have to really go recharge it then because if it drops below that you won't have any juice. The horn is the green button and over on the right side you have the turn signal indicators which are actually a rocker switch where you see left and right and then below that you have the on off switch which is the ignition. If you turn it one little turn to the right it'll turn on. If you turn it the second turn it turns on but it also adds the LED headlights which are very bright. The rocker switch on the right is forward and reverse. When you put it in reverse, it makes a beeping sound so people will know that you're in reverse. Um, there's also a cup holder and the steering wheel, which collapses. You can take the steering wheel apart at the piece down here. Um, it unscrews and when you unscrew it, you can just take that whole top part of the steering wheel off, which reduces the overall height when you're going to store it. Another thing is that the seat comes out. This entire piece here, the seat, just lifts right out and when you lift it out you can store that. As well as the windshield. The windshield you can take off 
and uh, just pop it right out with these side pieces and it'll come out and go for make for easy storage. The same thing with the vinyl top. The vinyl top actually has four places underneath where you can tie it to the frame. If you look real closely uh, over here, let's see, right in here, you'll see that these ropes come down from the top and you actually tie them down around these little knobs. That's both places on the back. And then inside, there's a place up at the top where you can also tie them inside. The mirror is about a $50 option. It gets dirty pretty easy, but if you clean it, it's real nice because it's really a good wide angle mirror. The Cricut will hold a little over 600 pounds, although it will actually carry more, but you got to be careful not to burn the motor out if you're climbing hills with an excess load. I did that once, but they were kind enough to send me another motor and I replaced it myself. You see the back seat is really easy to use. There's a place for you to put your feet down there and you can flip up this back seat and make a cargo area. So there's the cargo area when the back seat is folded down. That's real handy when you want to take your garbage a long distance or you want to go uh, pick something up in the mail room or whatever. But it's really nice to have that cargo area. I just used it this morning, as a matter of fact. To fully collapse the Cricut for storage or transportation, you have to make sure that there's no top on it and then you have to remove a few pieces and adjust a few others. With no top on, again, you need to remove this piece right here. And by doing two screws down there, sliding it out, and then you need to come around and remove the seat. The back of the seat just pops right up. Then you have to go down to the bottom to this floorboard. Now the floorboard down here actually removes. You can remove the entire thing from what you see here where the silver is, all the way back over to here. These knobs you see down here, there's two of them, one on each side. You undo those and take them out, and then that entire floorboard comes out. That allows the cricket to, to contract, and the actual length when you're done with all of that is only 58 inches. The construction of the cricket is pretty simple. The front just houses the lights and the various controls, and way under the seat in that red area down there is where the motor is, motor and the transmission. Right under the seat is the battery. If you lift up the seat, you can see that there is a 36 volt battery. It's actually three 12 volt systems in there. It has a pretty long cord that you can uh, charge, charge it with. I actually got a longer cord and put it in there so I could reach a little bit further for my RV. One of the decisions you have to make when you buy one of these is whether or not you do want the top. Now, obviously it's added expense, but with it on there, you can't collapse it to its shortest length. Now, you could collapse it if you did a few things. One of them would be to go down to the front and remove these two bolts down, down here, and then you could lift up the entire frame because the back portions of the support don't have any bolts. So it will just lift straight up. However, it's pretty large, and if you kept it intact, with just those front two bolts removed, then you probably would have difficulty storing it. The other option is to actually remove eight bolts and disassemble the frame. Now up here you can see that there are two bolts holding each side of the thing. And if you went and undid these eight bolts across the entire top, then you'd be able to disassemble the entire top and store it in pieces. Now, I think that's kind of a lot of trouble to do that, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So the length of the entire Cricut, with it fully assembled with the top and leaving in the bottom floorboard, is fine for me to be able to store it into the back of my pickup truck. Because I wanted to put the Cricut in the back of my pickup truck, I had to buy some ramps. The ramps they sold were about $200 for the pair. Now, they're aluminum ramps. They're pretty lightweight. Here's one of them, and what happens is you can extend them. Uh, I'll show you. extend them like this, and I'm, I'm going to go show you how we put them on the back of the truck. These collapsible ramps work pretty well. They extend out far enough to give you a good angle to raise the cart into the back of the truck, and they have these nice tabs at the top that rest pretty easy on the on the bed of the truck. So it's never been a problem to get these lined up just fine and get it into the back of the truck. Well, that's about it for all the details. Now you might be asking, how much does this cost? Well, 
as I got it configured here, it was $4,300. You could probably get it without the top for about five or $600 less. If you go to the Tampa RV show where I got mine, they sell about 10 every day during that show and they bring in new ones in the morning. So go check that out too. That's about all I've got on the cricket, but there's always more life in the slow lane. Join us next time.